Hi, my name is Esther Freeman and I'm Director of Global Health Dermatology at Massachusetts General Hospital. I'm also a member of the American Academy of Dermatology COVID-19 Task Force. Today, I wanted to share some resources with you that you can use to help protect your skin when we're using a lot of PPE. And I know many of our frontline providers and personnel are suffering with skin damage from their personal protective equipment. First of all, I'd like to share an American Academy of Dermatology resource that's recently been published, which outlines how you can prevent skin damage from PPE and also how you can treat skin damage from PPE. Second, I'd like to share with you the American Academy of Dermatology COVID-19 Skin Registry, and this is for patients who have dermatologic manifestations of COVID-19. Most of all, I just wanted to say thank you for all that you're doing on the front line. On behalf of the MGH Department of Dermatology, and on behalf of MGH Infection Control, we appreciate so much what you're doing. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Dr. Yu and I am the Director of Occupational and Contact Dermatitis here at MGH in the Department of Dermatology. We are happy to be able to provide you advice on the type of skincare products that dermatologists recommend to protect your facial skin when using N95 respirators. Gentle, Fragrance-free face washes are recommended for you to use before your shift and after your shift. Hypoallergenic and fragrance-free creams that are meant for the face that say the words non-comedogenic or meaning it will not plug pores are recommended for you to use to moisturize your facial skin daily, whether this is before donning your respirator or after, you, after your shift. Mineral oil or petroleum-based ointments are recommended for use after your shift to help heal the skin that may have been irritated or may suffer from pressure-related injuries due to an N95 respirator. The most common areas of skin breakdown or irritation from wearing respirators include your nasal bridge, your nasal tip, size of the cheeks, size of the jaws, as well as your chin. Please make sure to take care of these areas. Removing the mask every two hours for five minutes at a time can be very helpful to relieve pressure and to prevent pressure related injury. But please make sure that you are doing this in a area that is away from patients, as well as washing your hands prior to touching your face and touching your mask. If you do happen to have a skin injury or a skin breakdown, Please make sure that you file a safety report and or contact occupational health if you need any assistance at all. If for some reason the N95 mask is not fitting you the way that it should, please consider refitting. Again, we want to extend our heartfelt thanks for all the work that you are doing serving our community, our patients, and our hospital during this time. Mostly, I wanted to say thank you for everything that you're doing. On behalf of MGH Department of Dermatology and MGH Infection Control, Thank you for all your hard work.